Salty No Life comes in with the question, which do you think will age better on future titles on newer APIs, the RTX 3080 or the new RX 6800 XT? Well, I think that in terms of the advanced DirectX 12 Ultimate features, and of course I'm speculating here until we get more experience under our belt and you know any forward-looking statement is going to have some speculation in it, but in titles that heavily use DirectX 12 Ultimate features, that use uh, ray tracing, that use all of the new stuff, Unreal Engine 5, for example, mm -hmm. which looks amazing. It does. The 3080 will probably age better. It is the second generation of technology from NVIDIA. Hold on, I have a, I have a but to this answer. The 3080 will age better in terms of future driver support and updated optimized drivers because it has second generation ray tracing, second generation DirectX 12 Ultimate support because the 20 series was the first generation of cards that had the full DirectX 12 stack. That's so right. this is a refresh. And the higher CUDA core count combined with some of the additional features, I think the 3080 right now is being held back because they actually changed the design of the CUDA cores. It has so many more CUDA cores and so much more raw potential than the 20 series, but you notice the benchmarks don't reflect it. It has 2.7 times the performance of the 20 series, but it's not even double the performance. And I think part of that is game optimization, API usage, driver support, and just general familiarity with the car because the, basically they split the CUDA cores. The, each CUDA core is actually less powerful than the previous one running older software. But using new optimized software, it will be better in the future. Got it. That's the, that's the really quick version of how that works. The Cliff Notes. That's the Cliff Notes version. However, two things to keep in mind. We don't know when that's going to occur, and it's possible that by the time it matters in games you actually want to play, you're ready to replace either card. It's like you might outweigh the card and be upgrading to a 40 or 50 series and go, well, I had all those features and I never used them. But they have to be there for game developers to develop games for them. Correct. Here's the flip side of the argument. The 3080 has 10 gigabytes of VRAM and the 6800 XT has 16 gigs of VRAM. We are already seeing 8 gigabytes become a capped out limitation at least. I mean, it's more isn't required yet, but I'm seeing games where there is a difference between six and eight. So the eight is being used because the, the six gig on like a 2060, except for 1080p high detail is no longer enough. But 1440p very high or 1440p ultra, ultra. is six gig, it's a joke now. And eight is kind of sort of, they kind of work, but the 10 gigs in the 3080, will age poorly, in my opinion. We'll see. I mean, a, a forward-looking statement. I, I am actually hyped and excited about the 6800 XT because it has all the checkboxes of DirectX 12 Ultimate. It's not going to be as good in those things as the RTX is. But it may not matter within the useful life of the cards for most people who cycle every two to three years. Now, if you want to keep a card for six years, well, none of them age well in six years. No. Not with all the changes coming with all no. the games. My gut right now is I think the RX 6800 XT is the winner right now. And two days ago, I didn't think I'd say that. No. I am happy to change my point of view with yep. new information. Yep.